right. Still seeing that spooky eyeball guy. Yeah. Back in Dandara, we're going to see if we can't go across that bridge and do a little Metroidvania backtracking. Oh, right. The bridge that exploded. Doesn't look like it, though. I need to find a way to get down there. I have an idea, actually. Oh, are you trying to get hit and hit by the beam so that you could be close enough to... Doesn't work like that, though. I need a place to jump to. Hmm. Okay. On the other hand, this moment of quiet contemplation in the in-between space. Kind of nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, that's not gonna help me. Oh well. I'm sure there's a way to cheese that. I was gonna say, some somebody speed running or, or glitch hunting this game has probably figured out some unique ways to abuse that bit of mechanic there, but Maybe there's a jump upgrade, which is how you get back. Maybe. So, there was the big city outskirts thing off to the here, which I'm going to ignore because it seems too main story-ish. <laughs> you don't want to miss out on all the side stuff. Oh no, that's where all your upgrades are. Usually, yeah. Corruption transformation sounds entertaining. Oh yeah, I remember this. It was the... Bubbles kicking our butt. Oh, yeah. Knock it off. Well, you made it across. <laughs> yeah, well. Already went better than our last venture through there. That's definitely true. Well, at least you don't have to worry about falling in the clearly toxic liquid there. I mean, you literally can't. Oh, yikes. Okay, you oh. shoot through walls. Not cool. How come we can't shoot through walls? No kidding. The golden pride. Oh, it follows. Oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. That ain't cool. And a new version of that weird, uh, rocketing forward bad guy. So that was the Golden Pride. The Eldarian Gates. Oh, it's God. Oh, no. Oh, is this, is this a boss fight? I just saw a big eyeball down there, and it seemed rather interested in you. Oh, God. What have you stumbled into I now? don't know, but I don't like it. Yeah, that eye down, down at the bottom there looks like it might be the... the control for all this, but... A golden honor. Oh, boy. I'm glad it can't hit you during the screen transitions, because right? that would be bad. Ah. Uh. Okay. Nope, I think we're done here. <laughs> Man, okay. We don't usually run into something quite this big immediately after a boss fight. I'm a little surprised. I get the distinct impression I'm not supposed to be here. It does seem like our movement is hampered by our inability to access some of the stuff. There's two of them! I guess I should have realized when there were two different weapons being shot at you, but... It didn't There's a camp up there. Really? Lord knows Ooh. how I get there, though. Well, you didn't have a lot of salt, thankfully. Because you just spent all of it, right? Yeah. So let's check out that city. I was gonna say, maybe we just leave that alone for a minute. 
just a hot minute, just know, just till we know what we're dealing with. But there is a camp down there, and I think I have to blow up that eye between the two guns. Definitely seemed like what was in charge of that room, yeah. Intention capital. Alright. I've seen a lot more of those eyeball friends, uh keeping an eye on us these days. Yeah. Side, Side turn. turn. Nope. Hmm. Does not look completable with our current level of technology. It's weird because they move when you hop on them, but they but definitely not don't. Yeah. I mean, got a little high tech looking on us. Yeah, it did. friend. Died of loneliness. That's not good. How do I... Alright. It's not getting anywhere through there. With our current level of technology anymore. Oh, those look... Not great. <laughs> I do like the weird, like, circuit board effects to everything. Yeah, that looks like a control thingy. Oh, lord! What happened? Get out of there! Oh. Oh! That's <laughs> terrifying. My first thought is, I'm like, it's too bad it's a little bit too far away, we can't just <laughs> harvest all that salt. Yeah, well. Nice that you saw it now, though, so that when we get to that room, you'll won't be hopefully surprised. recognize it before it blasts you. Little Hut Club. Oh, hello. So oh, it seems like that jerks. style of projectile goes through building, or through walls. Like it's one of those angry doors, but oh, it has the type of bullets that go through stuff. Oh, this is fine. I'm very glad those don't respawn. Right? That would be the worst. Was there actually anything up there, or was I just distracted by getting shot at? It is the only way that you can get through. There's no places to jump the other way. Okay. So you had to blow up that door to get any further in this room. Stage of the club. Huh. A one way trip. Back alley. Find the best things in the back alleys. Ooh, actual upgrade. Spend energy in faith and patience. Danger will pass through, causing no harm. Huh? Okay, but how, though? 
Oh, okay. So you have a defense now? Yeah, and it burns my energy bar. Pretty cool, though. Probably important for that room where the, uh... With the lasers? With the lasers and the, uh... The tracking bullets that go through stuff. And this. Neat. That was good game progression right there. Because yeah. it showed you the threat in the other room. You know, so you knew that this big orb was coming up. It gave you the uh, the defense tool and showed and told you a button to press for it. Its description was a little cryptic, but eh. You know, trying to keep it in character. Um, and then you had to come through a room where you needed to use it, because that just looks real bad. It probably does all the damage. I yeah. was going to say, it, it might be a one hit. <laughs> Given the way it like erases those things from existence. Unfortunately, uh, it didn't actually give me any progression tools. Oh, as far as like uh, like a movement power. Continuing on or... through here, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you did that whole little hmm. loop, huh? Head back to camp real quick. I'm low on potions. Might as well. It's right there. Plus, I mean, saving your progress is good. Boy, having that uh, invincibility cloak during that last fight so I could just phase through their big attack without having to back out. That would have been handy. Could you have gotten it? I don't see why I couldn't have. Hmm. Unless this wouldn't have worked without a skull, but there doesn't seem to be a skull. Yeah. Well, you did it without it, so clearly you didn't need it. Okay, energy potion. I mean, nice to have now that you have something that continuously burns energy, especially. True. Like, I mean, aside from boss fights, I don't think you've really had a problem with energy use. You know? No, I, I tend to be pretty sparing on that. Um, but mm. now that you have something specifically designed to... Well, next time on Endless Mode, we're going to face off against two turrets who can shoot through walls. <laughs> I guess that is what we're going to do, huh? Uh, thanks for watching.